are you planning to travel to the capital of Cambodia? At the end of this video, you'll know 10 things to do in Phnom Penh. If you're into clothes or shoes and dining under the stars sounds good to you, we cannot be wrong to recommend to shop and dine at Night Market. Your dinner will be sitting on a bamboo mat while listening to the live performance of locals. Aww. These tons of clothes, fancy milkshakes, noodles, and fresh seafoods line in the marketplace. This unique experience will definitely be unforgettable. To understand present-day Cambodia, you really have to learn its recent dark history. The killing fields in Phnom Penh will open your eyes and will give a whole new respect to over 40-year-old Cambodians around us who lived through this oppressive regime and remain strong and beautiful as ever. This place is a must-visit for anyone looking to gain further understanding of the Khmer Rouge barbaric dictatorship. Aside from shopping and taking photos or videos, you cannot tell that you've fully been to Phnom Penh without exploring its street foods. The kind of adventure that only eating unfamiliar foods can give. From fertilized egg that's ridiculously tasty and juicy, to smoking hot, delicious street barbecue in spicy sauce that only numb tongues might be able to handle, and that's probably not me. And to the freshest grilled octopus that you can just grab and go. Once you tried it all, explore new street foods again and again and again. Whoever loves to browse endlessly through small yet enticing shops will find the Central Market in Phnom Penh an enchanting place. Aside from Zumba class that you might want to enroll, we found in this place the cheapest dress, shirts, and pants. The wide range of options make this place a treasure for shoppers like you and me. and dining in Russian market is also in the list. We've seen nice bags, shoes, earrings, clothes, name it, they have it. You can also get an affordable but delicious meal inside the market after your shopping. Nice! It's time to discover hidden gems through Tuk Tuk Tour! Don't be surprised when a tuk-tuk driver approaches you and offers you a tour in the city. He will be your driver and tour guide for a day. He will bring you to less popular but worth visiting places. It might be to the three rivers in the city or to a golden boat. You might be exploring the great architecture of pagodas and the next moment you'll find yourself playing with your siblings. I mean, friendly monkeys. This is definitely the cheapest fun tour we've had. I encourage you to spend a dollar to be enchanted in Wat Nom Hill. Wat Nom is the only hill in town making it the tallest religious structure in the city. Aww. They call it heart of the city because it is located at the central point of Phnom Penh. Get ready to admire Royal Palace and Silver Pagoda. Royal Palace is a complex of buildings which serves as the royal residence of the King of Cambodia. If you appreciate history and architecture, this place is rich in stories of the past and obviously glowing in architectural beauty. The Royal Palace of Cambodia was built during the 1860s and is a fine example of Khmer architecture with a slight French touch. The Silver Pagoda is located on the south side of the Royal Palace. The wall that surrounds the structure is covered with murals painted by Cambodian artists directed by the architect of the Silver Pagoda. Lastly, visit the National Museum. This is Cambodia's largest museum of cultural history and is the country's leading historical and archaeological museum. Did we miss out anything? Share with us in the comment section.